this is the second part of the video of the square of the pawn and in this video I'm gonna go over a couple of more advanced positions and show you how you can use the square of the pawn to correctly analyze and also win some games okay so if we look at the position that we have in front of us what you want to notice is that white on the right side has uh, two pawns and black has two pawns now white has two versus one on that side therefore he could create a pass pawn on the h file the same is true for black black has a pawn on, on the open f file and he does have two versus one on the left side therefore black can create a pass pawn as well and i do want you to notice that black is further advanced on the right side in other words he's going to be able to get a pass pawn and queen in one two three moves while white if he gets a pass pawn on the right side he's only going to be able to queen if black doesn't take in one two three four five moves so therefore black will queen first a lot of times seeing these type of games i noticed that my students try to promote the pawn on the left side but this is not going to happen if you try to push the pawn black is just going to block it off and that pawn is not going anywhere and now black will be able to get his pass pawn on the left side the good news here even in this position white is still winning just because he is able to get inside the square of the pawn if you look at the pawn on the open f file white is able to get inside the square of the pawn therefore he can stop that pawn he does have to do that first because if he's trying to go for his pass pawn black will queen first so the correct move is to come with the king after the pawn and here black will simply push the pawn and i do want you to be careful moving the king to d3 is a big mistake even though it looks like hey we are in the square of the pawn and we should be able to catch the pawn if you remember we've talked about that if the pawn takes another pawn changing the file that we will not be able to catch that pawn anymore so king to e2 and then the pawn uh, turns into a queen if you step inside the square while well, we'll be able to catch the pawn if that pawn moves forward then yes we can move to e2 and then catch the pawn however just because that pawn can take another pawn on another file it's going to shrink the square so what we want to do is take that pawn and after black takes now we step on the square d3 coming inside the square of the pawn so here white uh, stops the pawn another thing to be careful is you know after black takes the pawn white doesn't need to waste time to get the pawn and then promote this is another mistake that beginners make and if you do do that you're actually only going to end up in a draw for example king to e3 uh, his king is going to come over if you take the pawn what's going to happen black now will have time to catch the pawn and this is a draw so when you are here after you move the king to d3 you've already stopped the pawn from queening you are inside the square of the pawn so you don't need to worry about the black pawn becoming a queen therefore you want to race your pawn to the other end of the board so black doesn't have enough time to catch your pawn or get inside the square of that pawn so after he takes the pawn what you want to do is pawn to h4 and now you could see that this is the square of the pawn and black cannot get inside that square so you will be able to get that pawn into a queen and win the game Here's another position that uses the square of the pawn. On the first glance, if you look at the position, you might say, oh, black is so far away, he's not gonna be able to catch the pawn from queening. However, this is a big mistake. And if you move the pawn to a4, you'll notice that black will be able to get inside the square of the pawn and he will actually be able to win this game if he catches the pawn or if you try to queen the pawn right away obviously after you move the pawn to a5 he cannot be greedy taking the pawn will be a mistake because he's not going to be able to get inside the square of the pawn now and you will be able to queen but if he doesn't take the pawn and he goes after the pawn that is going to queen first he is going to be able to stop that pawn and also come back in time to win the game here white cannot make any progress and black will be able to win the pawn and win the game but if we go back from the beginning this position is actually winning for white what white wants to do first is move the pawn to d5 here black has to take otherwise white will just push and have a queen in another two moves and he's going to queen first so black has to take 
And after the take, now white plays pawn to a4. Even though black can get inside the square of the pawn, after we move the pawn to a5, black is not able to stay in the square of the pawn because his pawn is in the way. So here, black will have to go around the pawn, losing a tempo, and not catch the pawn in time. So after he moves the, pawn, the king to e5, and white pushes the pawn to a6, you can see now black cannot get inside the square of the pawn, therefore he's not gonna stop the pawn from queening. If you liked my video, please subscribe, and don't forget to check out my new website, MasterYourChess.com, where you can learn, practice, test, and master your chess knowledge.